Depending on how you look at it, I built my camper van bed the wrong way. Most will say it's a waste of space, or rather lack of space, because of the way I built the bed. I do disagree, and I will touch on that a little bit later in the video, but first, let's get back in time to the point where I built the bed. first time I have a bed frame. I'm gonna have plywood here and here and all around and I'm gonna have it on top as well. Then I'm gonna cut out so I get a lid. So I just uh, put up the mattress and then I can open and I have storage here. In this build I decided to use regular 2x2s for the framing of the bed. It made the bed sturdy and easy to build. I also decided to actually build the bed on site, meaning it's not a modular build that can easily be taken out. I got a lot of help from my dad who at this time had vacation for two weeks and we wanted to maximize the time. Building in models is nice and practical, but it usually takes a lot more time. Build it on site, on the other hand, in my experience, cut the time in half. And I don't anticipate to be needing to take it out for a very, very long time, hopefully. The plywood I used is 12mm in thickness and it's what I used mostly for all the bigger furniture in the van. It's not the most nice looking plywood I could find, but it was cheap and it is used for construction. So it's going along, here's the frame, it's a little bit more to do, we are trying to put up one wall cover here, just to see how it fits and how it looks. And down here we have access, and here is one, and here is two, and I split it in half because that's gonna be cloth for the bed, and this for my van, it's gonna be the garage. Today I'm gonna try to put up the wall covers because that's the next step. I have also made this. The bed frame is actually done. It's just, I'm, I'm gonna put on a list here in the corner as well. And except that it's, it's actually done. And uh, uh, we have already begun this one. It's not finished. I had to put support right there in the seams. I seems to be running into putting support along here as well, but we have to see. Take one step at a time. So it's just to fit this, put up another, and then it's done. And that's actually what we're gonna do today. And it's actually Christmas Eve, so Merry Christmas. So with that said, let's uh, Let's get this done, and I'll see you in a bit. Plywood for the walls is 3mm thick. I really try to save as much space as I can. In this small space, every centimeter saved is a huge win. So why did I build this bed the wrong way? A lot of you that have followed my channel knows that I'm almost 2 meters in height. 
This can be a little bit of a problem if I'm sleeping sideways because I'm two meters. It's, it's I'm not gonna fit. So I had to actually build the bed the lengthwise, uh, as you've seen in the video. And I did it in a manner that I could use the other side for the kitchen. So I have a little bit more bench top area and storage underneath than you usually have in a camper van. So it's a little bit different. And that's what I mean with building the bed the wrong way. Building the bed the wrong way in regard of the usual way to build a van bed. And now when I have lived in this van for a couple of weeks, even if it's on the driveway, because I can't drive this van anywhere yet. It has to be inspected first and I'm not quite finished yet, so I can't do that. But I live in it, so I have my own space and that's good. And so far, I actually like this layout. Uh, I haven't been in a camper van or lived in a camper van that has the usual layout, but I like mine and that's that's a good thing. And I saw in a video one mentioned that build the bed, then build everything around the bed. And I think that's a good good point because if you sleep like a king or a queen, you can tackle whatever problem life throws at you. But if you sleep poorly because 10 centimeter thick mattress bought on Ikea, nothing wrong with Ikea, I love Ikea. Those mattresses is not made to sleep on for a very long time. So what I did before I moved from the, my house, I actually ordered a ma mattress. It's a, a memory foam and it's 25 centimeters thick. And it's actually classified as a real bed. And it was kind of expensive. Why I bought it then and not now was because it was half the price. So I got it for around 400 bucks instead of 800 bucks. And yeah, that's a lot for bed, but I want to sleep like a king because I'm gonna live in this small area and tackle a lot of problems along the way. And the bed should not be a problem at all. That's how I think about it. So that's why I built it in this way, because when I go to sleep, it feels like go to sleep in whatever apartment or house or room you live in. It's no different. And I really love that. And yeah, it's a small bed. It's just 80 centimeters wide. It's the smallest you can find, I think. But I don't need more because it's only me. Another option I could have gone for is the flare out that you have on the side. Uh, and you could maybe get five, six centimeters more on either side. But, and here's the but, those are around 20,000 krona each here in Sweden. And 20,000 krona is around 2,000 USD. So that's quite much. Those two together is actually more than I bought the van itself for. And no. Nope. And I think that's too much. Just to sleep in a certain way. 